Hey everyone, and welcome to our guide for Professor Putricide and Ice Crown Citadel. Um, started the video a little late, so he's already down by about a million health, but phase one's pretty easy, so and you didn't miss out on too much. Uh, main things in phase one is he puts the slime puddles on the ground, which you want to try to avoid as best as you can. They grow as time goes on, so you can only do so much about them, but... Um, he also summons green and orange adds, little slimes, that you want to kill as fast as you can. The green slimes will root whoever they target in place, and when they get to you, they explode for close to 70,000 damage, which is split between anyone who's nearby. Um, so, if you are going to have one explode, make sure you're both nearby so you can s split the damage between. Uh, the orange adds also put a damage over time and chase a certain player and will do extra damage when they reach him. So you want to just try to kill him as fast as you can. When he hits phase 2 here, he still does the same things as phase 1, but also he starts throwing malleable goo, which does about 10,000 damage, but it slows your attack and casting speed by 200% for 20 seconds. When he throws it, it actually travels pretty slow, so you can get out of the way. Um, from what I've noticed, he never seems to cast it on me unless I'm by myself. So if you're second person that's range, they should have a pretty easy time getting out of the way of it. Um, he also will drop little choking gas bombs that you want to stay away from. They cause a fair amount of damage, and they also reduce your chance to hit by 75%. So, you want to try to avoid them as best as you can. Um, phase 2 is really... It's not too bad, but you have to switch back and forth between killing the adds and getting Putricide down. Because you don't want to spend too much time in Phase 2. Because you'll end up like we did, where you get back into a corner and it becomes kind of difficult. But at the same time, you don't want to use any of your cooldowns until Phase 3 which I'll explain to you here in a second when he gets to that. Between each phase he'll hit the entire room with t um, tear gas, which stuns you, you can't do anything until the time's over, and he'll run over to his little alchemy table and drink his next concoction and mutate some more. But, uh, like I said, just concentrate on getting Putricide down and taking care of the ads because once you hit phase three he actually doesn't summon ads anymore so you want to make sure that you get all the ads down or at least only have maybe one up when you hit phase three that way you're not trying to deal with them and him phase three is the the more difficult part of this fight uh, okay we're about to go into phase three here he just hit us with the tear gas you can see we have one uh one add still up, which isn't a big deal. They only have about 355,000 health, so at 85 you'll be able to burn through that pretty quickly. Um, when he gets rid of the tear gas, you want to finish off the add first and foremost. And then this is where we generally use heroism and our cooldowns, um, elementals and whatnot to do as much damage because he puts a stacking debuff on the tank that does damage to the rest of the raid but not you so as time goes on you can see the little things of damage hitting Corvina over there from me at first it doesn't hit too hard but the further it goes the more it does and I think by the time it kills her it's hitting for like 40 something thousand damage so that's one of the main reasons why you need to use everything you got to try to get him down. Also, he does 50% more damage and attacks 50% quicker once he's in this giant mutated form. So you're also taking a lot more damage too. Um, otherwise, same abilities as far as casting Malleable Goo. You want to avoid that. Um, See, yeah, it's 41,000, 41,000, yeah, and she just died. So eventually it just gets to a point where you can't can't survive it. Um, 
It gets a little hard when you're the last person because now when he casts Malleable Goo, he's gonna throw it at me. And I actually just avoided that one. But the next one, I, it's it's really hard. The only way i found to effectively avoid it is to watch the cast timer on Deadly Boss mods and when he's about to cast to try to run through him. If you have any kind of speed boost ability you could use, it would be good too. Um, yeah, I just got hit with it right there. The speed reduction is the killer part, especially for Death Knights, because it'll reduce your rune recharge timer too. But uh, use everything you got, any cooldowns you need, just finish them off. And that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Leave any comments, questions below. And good luck with duoing Ice Crown Citadel.